Hi everyone. Um, I'm redoing this video because the other one I did was pretty bad. I was in a rush and I really didn't get into anything. Um, but this is um, a database I did that I use at work and basically um, this is a list of equipment uh, my customers have. Um, over here is the, is the green button. You can go to any any piece of equipment that uh, is listed here just by pushing the, um, the button. Um, and it gives, uh, of course, the ownership and the equipment if it's in in um, service contract or not. Right down here is uh, if this particular equipment has been uh, repaired. Uh, if you know if it was broken or something and I did something with it, it uh, could be listed here. Um, uh, up here is all the different places you can go on this, you know, in this database. Um, you can add customers if you want. Um, uh, add equipment. Um, let's see. Um, also, well, let's go to the field service report. As I showed before in the field service report um, in the last video, all you do is um, click new, um, choose the investigator or customer, in your case would be a customer. from the list Hit OK and then what will happen is um, their equipment would be listed here right down here all the equipment they have will be listed here and to, to pick a particular um, equipment that you want you click on there and you go through the serial numbers and choose a serial number Hit OK, hit done once that's done, then everything is populated from the company who services the machine. Uh, if I don't do it myself, it'll be listed here. Um, the location of it. And down here, you can put uh, what the problem is, the solution, um, any parts you need. And uh, like I said in the other video, um, you can push either one of these buttons here and each one of these is a button uh, and it will it'll go to um, um, what that equipment is listed as like this is equipment ID you would just click on that and it'll go to um, the equipment and give you details about the equipment The last one, eighty-seven. All right. So once you fill this all out, oh, and uh, the other thing is um, um, email address. You can, uh, if you want to send the uh, the report to your customers, you just choose the email address you want. Done. Email address would be there. It'll be listed here. Um, the other thing is a signature. Let's just press and wait till that come up. Hit signature, and then you can have. Um, I'm using this pin. This pin here, which is well stylus, which is good. It's called a hard candy. It's by a company called HardCandyCases.com, and this works perfectly when you want to sign your name and then right down there is the name and then if you want to email it all you do is hit the email and I have two buttons here on here uh, one's for FM touch um, the other one is for regular email so this would mean if um, if you want a desktop using this application 
you would just push that and it'll show it'll send a regular email with um, with this attachment and I'll show you what it look like on FM touch this is upside down but hit attach and then it hits send and as you can see it shows the um, the form So, I think that's it. I'll see you next time.